Hey everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute DIY clothespin picture holders. So, you can get things that are actually picture holders. I got these. These. At Michael's. I'm going to open this one up. And, um, they're burlap and they have the little clip in the back now. These clips close very hard and they have, like, it kind of hurts, they're really strong. And these are cute and all, except for, there's a picture of some mountain goats up there, you can see them. If you leave these in here, in these kind, you won't be able to see it, but, um, it kind of, like, punctures the picture. So you'd want to put a picture in here that you don't, like, if you have a double of it, and, or, um, you're not worried about it getting wrecked, or if you just want to leave it in there. So, I put that one in there just as an example. I think I might, um, take that out and just use these as backgrounds in my video, though, because I think they're cute. But I'm going to show you how to make some today that won't damage your pictures and you can change them out and use your pictures for other things if you'd like. So, what you're going to need is some pictures. Excuse me, I have... And if you can hear, I'm a little bit sick, but I'm, like, getting better, so I'm kind of sounding normal. Um, I have a little duck, a starfish, two black bears... A moose and another bird that is swimming and sort of the reflection of the trees coming down and my grandma took these pictures quite a few years ago she just gave me a really cute little box full of animal pictures so yeah and then you're gonna need some clothespins of course I got these Betsy Johnson ones on Michaels for three dollars Which is like a dollar twenty-five each. No, that's not. It's like, uh, I don't know. You can calculate it if you want to. It was three dollars, and there's four of them. And then I have this one, which I got for Christmas, and I'm just gonna show you with this as well. So, all you're gonna do is open your clothespins and These ones are really, really cute. I wasn't going to get them because I'm like, what am I going to use them for? And then I'm like, oh, yes. So, there's a pink glittery one, a um, black glittery one, and two ones that are like hearts and stuff. And the glitter does fall off like pretty. Can't even really see it. But like, yeah, and then the pink one. Shades too, and the pink is a little bit messed up at the top there, but I'm not worried about it. So all you're gonna do is take your clothespins off of the thing. And you're going to stand them up um, on the end where you pinch it to open it. Just stand them up like that. Whoops. And you might need to kind of like mess with them a little bit so that they're straight and would not go Ooh, I have glitter all over my desk over here oh and these ones are cute they say XOXO Betsy okay and then all you're gonna do is take your picture take your clothespin open it up and put your picture the right way and clip it in there. Now you can do how far up or down you want it. So just stand it up and it looks like it would help if you guys could see it. Stand it up and it looks like this. It's really cute. One. And then the big one, you do exactly the same thing. Now these ones are really big. You could put, like, more than one of these if you wanted, actually. You 
could do something like that if you would like, but I don't really like that, so. You just put all the pictures in there, whatever ones you like and whatever one. I think this one looks cute because, like, they're black bears, and then it's, like, dark in the bushes, or the woods, and then the main color is black on this one. So, yeah, you just <laughs> stand it up. And with smaller clothespins, like, these ones are a little bit bigger than you get for, like, hanging clothes outside. And, um, you could use the ones that you hang clothes on outside, except for, um, I don't know how sturdy they would be. Like, these feel like they could fall easy, like, they fall easy, but I wonder if this one does. Nope. Let's see if this one does. Probably this one's really... Yeah, but I had to blow harder on this one. It was kind of heavy, actually, when you have to bend it up. Um, so ones like this kind of fall easy, but, yeah, it's just a really, really cute idea. Just put your pictures in there, and I just wanted to show you guys again. This is a little bit blurry, but look at this starfish. Isn't that so cool? Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got an idea or ended up doing this. I think it's really, really cute. Like, I don't know. I like how they're sparkly and stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up. Um, oh, and I want to tell you guys, if you click on any of my videos on this channel, in the description box, there will be a link to my previous video from that video, um, or any other video that I like. Say, whatever. Um... And I can do that, but I have to wait because I film on my phone and then I upload it from my phone. And then I have to go, um, I don't upload it from my desktop computer because it's not mine. It's, um, one of my family members. So I use that later on. So I just upload it in here and then I can go and edit it later on, which I will do. And I'll put the link to my last video in the description box below. Um, yeah. Thumbs up, subscribe. Also go subscribe to my craft channel if you're interested. Craft Craze 01. I will try to remember to put the link below as well for my craft channel. If you are interested in that, you can go click that link below. Um, also go check out my friend Spider-Man, or Jessica's channel, Spider-Man Lover. Um, if you guys would like, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!